All right, so let's say you have a recliner, electric recliner, or a lift chair, or maybe a non-reclining piece of furniture, and you want to find someone who can advise you regarding a repair issue you're dealing with, or maybe even help you troubleshoot the problem, or just fix it. I get emails and YouTube comments asking me for help all the time, and I'd love to be able to help each and every person that reaches out to me, but I can't, and it's not because I don't want to. In this video, I'm going to explain why I can't help everybody, but first and more importantly, I'm going to tell you where you can often find someone who can help you. So, let's get started. I sometimes advise people on how they can get help with their furniture repair issues when I don't have the specific answers they need. Take Marsha, for example. She was having an electrical problem and recently wrote, I have a Medlift power recliner. The lights on the controller work, but the chair does not respond to pushing those buttons. Any idea what could be wrong? Well, I have no experience with that brand, and all power recliners are not designed exactly the same way. For example, some may have a reset or reboot function, while others will not. So after giving her some generic advice regarding checking the outlet, cables, and connectors, I replied, the manufacturer or someone with experience at servicing that brand is your best source for troubleshooting the problem. To that she responded, it was repaired by the store who sold it to us, needed a new power pack and new plugs. Works like a dandy. Thank you. Well, there was no need for her to thank me. She came up with the best place to start looking for help on her own, and that is the store where she bought the recliner. That should always be your starting point. We'll call that step number one. Always start by contacting the retailer or dealer where you bought your furniture for help with repairs or troubleshooting. Back in the day, all retailers serviced the furniture they sold. That was a given. Unfortunately, that's no longer the case. Today, many furniture retailers focus primarily on sales, with service often being much less of a priority. So let's explore some other options in the event that your store will not help you with your repair issue, or perhaps is no longer in business. Now remember, you should always start with step one if possible, but these next steps, or options, are interchangeable. You can try them in any order you like. If the store where you made your purchase is still open, but they can't or won't help you for whatever reason, ask them to refer you to someone in the area that can. And if you know the name brand of your furniture, ask them to refer you to someone who specifically works on that brand. They may know someone that services all the brands they sell. Furniture store managers or service managers will often know repair techs in the area, especially if they don't provide complete repair service at their stores. And again, as I advise Marsha, there is no one more expert at servicing a particular product than the company that makes it, or one of their dealers, or a person with experience at servicing that same brand, model, or style. You can also try contacting the manufacturer for help. They make your furniture and stand behind it to some degree. For example, many mass-produced name brand furniture products have warranties with replacement parts coverage. So if you purchase their product, they should be able to help you or point you in the right direction when it comes to parts or finding someone to install those parts. You can also search online for independent repair techs that may service your area. Touch base with them through their website, Facebook, wherever you find them to learn more about whether they service your brand or area, or whether you could bring your recliner to them if you're able to do so. By now, you may have figured out why I can't help everybody with their furniture repair problems. The reason's pretty simple. I don't work on every brand and style that's out there. I work on, for the most part, one brand these days, Lazy Boy. And my local Lazy Boy dealer doesn't carry their entire product line. It's a pretty small furniture market here in my area. So there are some Lazy Boy products that I've never seen or worked on. And here's why that's important. A repair tech is expert at servicing the products they work on most often. They know those products inside and out. And experienced techs like myself are also familiar with furniture fundamentals like frame construction, padding replacement, and so on. But when it comes to specifics like, what's the source of my electrical problem on my ABC lift chair? For answers to those types of specific questions, there is no better person than someone who services the exact same product you own. If they're experienced, they will have seen a lot of different repair scenarios and will likely know the fix or be able to make good recommendations concerning the problem. So if you've asked me for advice about your specific repair issue and never received a response, 
Now you probably know why. But if you think I've created this video so I can stop helping people with their furniture problems, think again. Helping consumers with furniture issues is why Recliner Repair Guy was founded in the first place. And I'll keep making videos about repairs that I'm most familiar with and gladly answer questions related to those videos. But when it comes to giving people repair advice on brands and styles I'm not familiar with, I'll now gladly refer those people to this video so they can hopefully find the help they need as well.